There's a, a, always been a fairly strong connection around here between politics and music. Not so much uh, bands writing uh, political songs or, uh, or protest songs, but there has been a long history of bands playing uh, benefits. There was an organization uh, I was a part of uh, quite a while ago. Greg Humphreys was in it as well. It was called Musicians Organized for Voter Education. <laughs> Young voters are the X factor in this election. They are the ones who are going to really make a difference. Because making a difference in America this year is going to mean do, doing things differently. It's not about politicians, it's about voters. And real change means changing the culture of politics. And that doesn't mean sending the same old folks back to Washington or back from Raleigh. I want to go to Washington to work for the people. I don't want to go to Washington to play by the rules. I want to go to Washington to remake the rules and rewrite them so that they work for folks, everyday folks in our state, in our nation. And these young people get it. They understand what it's all about. Save the world. Yeah. Uh, I mean, why music and politics? Why music and politics? I don't know. They kind of go hand in hand. I don't know. Just music is a really great way to express, you know, anything really that you think. As far as saving the world, I Personally, I don't know, I think it probably takes more than that to save the world, just music. I think the people, you know, that, that support the music and that support, you know, the politicians and everything else that's going on, I think combined, that can probably save the world, yeah. What's up, Carborough? Yeah. You know, this election is stressing me out. I'm ready for it to be over. Um, and when I get stressed out, I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm all stressed out. That was gas. Sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's the election, though. Uh, the only thing I have to comfort me at the moment is that uh, something that Senator Obama said the other night in the Dean Dome, um, which is that at least one thing we know, that as of uh, next January, George W. Bush will no longer be our president. <laughs> Large part, I think um, it, it allows like a different way to express opinions other than just conversation. It open it opens up doors to different topics that maybe otherwise a lot of people aren't comfortable talking about. <laughs> I think music can save the world. I think the people, um, the message that music can bring and the way that um, it can unite people can change the world. Maybe not um, the music itself, but what it can do, what people can do through music could, could change the world, could save the world, yeah. <laughs>